What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. As we check out the stats, you can see that, yo, Rich Gannon having himself an MVP type of a season. Justin Fargus, he is our lead back as of right now. Did not always start the year like that, but he's averaging 3.3 yards a carry. Tyron Wheatley, just 2.1. 3.3 isn't that great either, but hey, it is what it is at this moment in time in the season. We are a pass-first team. You can check out the numbers. Jay Rice, second on the team with receptions. Of course, Jay Porter leads the team in every single receiving category, as it should be, because he is our star receiver moving forward. Um, but going back to our last loss, it was came at the hands of the Saints. And one thing that I'm realizing that in this game, good quarterback and good running back are are way more important than a good quarterback and a great receiving core. So we're going to try to duplicate what the Saints did. But we are probably going to have to do some at running back because I'm not sure if Farkas is going to be that guy. And we're probably going to have to do some, <laughs> probably, we will have to do some of that quarterback because I just don't believe Rich Gannon is coming back for another season of NFL football. He might surprise me. Maybe Jay Rice will surprise me. Maybe Rod Wilson will surprise me. I just, I'm not going to hold my breath as Rich Gannon is the NFL player of the week. When we look at the standings, though, this is a big time game. We are number one in the whole AFC, followed by the Titans and the Browns. We got the Jets, Ravens, and the Broncos, but the Chiefs, who we play today, are right there at six and five. So this is a big moment in time. Five weeks left in the season. This is week 13. Then you got 14, 15, 16, and 17. And it gets no bigger than this. Raiders, Chiefs, to me, the biggest rivalry in the AFC West. We're going to see who can win this ball game. Here's we start the game off by running the ball with Fargus. That's a game of five. That's a nice carry for him right there. We're going to give it to him again. He's going to pick up around 10 yards there. So we're looking good in the ground game. He got a little bit gas. So we're going to bring in Tyrone Wheatley who does Tyrone Wheatley type things. And it's hard to imagine, but at Michigan, this man was like a speed back. Yes, he still had his girth, not like he does here, but my goodness gracious. That pass, we just throw it away, tried to buy as much time as we could, but the writing was on the wall, got to throw that thing away. We find Jay Rice, that pass is caught. We're going to go for it. Maybe not the wisest decision. We didn't get no type of time to throw the ball from the pocket, and we give the ball to the Chiefs with Excellent field position, and they got Priest, Holmes, Larry Johnson, and a very capable quarterback in Trent Green. They're going to run the ball with Holmes right there out the gut, brought down by Gibson, but has a first down. Eye formation, back to the ground again, and Baja Bilamila is there for the stop. Gain of two by Priest Holmes. They throw it downfield, broken up. So now we're looking at third down. Can we get off the field here? Third down and eight, they throw the ball to Tony Gonzalez, and Tony G makes the catch for the first down. Holmes to the left side, and Holmes, he's going to fall forward for a gain of four. Offset outlet, they're going to give it to Holmes again. Finds running room, brought down by Gibson. They're going to go up the gut with LJ. When LJ is our backup, when you can bring him in out of the bullpen, that is a scary proposition for any defense late in the ball game when he start to get a little bit tired, don't feel like tackling nobody no more. First and goal, Green throws it. That pass incomplete. Second down and goal, offset eye. Tony G to the right. They're going to throw it to the left side. Caught by Dante Hall. Touchdown Chiefs and the Kansas City Chiefs strike first. Chris Cole going to work his way up to the 20-yard line. Had an excellent kick return on that first one. That one not so excellent as we get to the 20-yard line. We get the ball to Fargus. Gain of three right there. Gannon looking for Porter. Porter makes the catch as he gets hit. Move those chains. Our formation go up the gut with Fargus. And Fargus picks up one yard and no more. So second down and nine. Going to go to the air here. Get into Tim Brown. And the coverage was sticky, icky, icky. Third down and nine. Gannon looking downfield. And that pass is incomplete. Probably should have went to Jolly on the out route. But probably is never get the job done. Holmes going to run that ball. And Gibson is there to slow him up. And I believe that's Napoleon Harris that cleaned him up with the stop. Second down and eight. Green. To the right side, Bo Richter makes the catch, and that's going to be a first down brought down by Smith. So Trent Green is out there throwing dots. Every single pass seems to be complete for him. Picks up seven yards right there, throwing the ball to Tony Richardson. They go up the gut. Holmes brought down by Gibson. Gibson has been a busy man so far today. They run the ball with Holmes again. Gibson is there yet again. So out of the gun, they spread things out for receivers. They throw the ball downfield. That pass off for the hands of the intended receiver. I believe that was Kennison over there. Now they run the ball, and Gibson meets Holmes yet again. Third down and six. Out of the gun. Green throws it underneath. Kennison makes the catch, and Gibson with the hit stick. That's just me. 
First down and 10, last play of the first quarter, and we get the stop that we needed. That's the Teddy Washington with the stop to end the first quarter. So the Chiefs, they have the football, 7-0 is the score. They're going to run the ball with Holmes, and Holmes got met in the lane by Harris. Third down and long, they throw it over the middle, caught by Hall, went for the hit stick, missed it. We connect on that hit stick. I don't think that pass is going to be caught. Holmes brought down by Gibson. Green throws it downfield, caught by Bo Richter. He's going to get brought down by Woodson. And the drive shall continue inside the 20. Holmes up the gut. We just, these long drives are going to kill us moving forward if they can keep it up. Holmes to the left side, brought down by Rod Woodson. A touchdown saving stop right there. But a very methodical drive. And it is beating us up slowly and slowly and slowly. Death by a thousand cuts. And they get the ball to LJ in there for the end zone, in there for the touchdown. He crosses the goal line into the end zone. And now we're down 14 nothing. Chris Cole to the 20, brought down at the 25 yards. So we need this offense to wake up and do something for us. We're going to look for Porter, and that pass is overthrown. Rich Gannon's accuracy is his best weapon, and that time he was not accurate. This time he is accurate. And then, yo, Chris Cole, find your hands, please. That pass caught by Rice just shy of the first down. We're going to go for it. Down by 14. Defense can't stop nobody. Offense can't move the ball. We have Porter. I threw it to the other Jerry and Rice. He got jammed. It threw off the timing, and we get the ball back to the Chiefs on a four and out. So now we put our defense in a horrible spot. They throw the ball deep, and Dante Hall throwing up the X. He beat Philip Buchanan, and we find ourselves down 21 to nothing. 21 nada is the score. And who saw this come? We're the best team, not just in the West, but in the whole AFC. But we're not playing like it, obviously. Bars. Gannon looking downfield. That pass caught by Porter. And Porter's going to work his way upfield for a decent gain right there. Gannon sets his feet, throws it to the other. Jerry. Jay Rice makes the catch. And this is the offense we know and love. But is it too little too late? Because we're not really a big play offense. We kind of kill you by a thousand cuts as well. But there goes Tim Brown. That's a nice little chunk play right there. Gannon right now is throwing the ball 50% right now for completions. We're going to run the ball with Fargus. Picks up three yards. They're going to go back to Fargus, it looks like we do. He's going to try to turn the corner, and he does, but only for a gain of around three yards there. We're 0 for 3 on third down. Third down and four. Gannon under pressure. Gannon going to throw it straight to the grass and bring out Janikowski. Field goals are never guaranteed with me, especially not in this game, but this kick is up, and this kick is good. 21 to 3. Down by 18. The Chiefs have it with under two minutes to go, but still plenty of time to gain a field goal range, if not score a touchdown. And on top of that, they get the football first as Gonzalez over the middle gets brought down by Bila Mila and Gibson. They throw the ball to the left side, and that pass will fall on the complete. So second down and 10. Green has it. Green throws it. Gonzalez hauls it in. And now it's going to be third down and three. Toss play to Holmes. And Holmes met by Philip Buchanan. Who thought he was going to make a tackle? Not me, but he did, and I appreciate it. And then Rice drops it. Who thought he was going to drop that pass? Second down and 10. We go over the middle. Caught and then dropped by Tim Brown. Huge hit laid upon his rib cage. 0 for 4. Can we do something here? Gannon throws it as he gets hit, and that pass is broken up. And we go 3 and out yet again. So Trent Green, quick pass. That pass is dropped. Big hit laid upon their receiver. Anything they do, we got to do too. They hit our receivers. We hit the receivers just as hard, if not harder. Hall makes the catch right there. Third down and three. They're going to run the ball with Holmes. And Holmes will pick up the first down by the heads of a chin chin chin. Casey has one timeout left. 35 seconds on the clock. And Ted Washington gets in there for the sack. I love it. He's been the best pass rusher on the team this whole season. That pass is going to do nothing for him, and that's going to take us to the second half of play. We're down by 18. And like I said, the Chiefs get the football first. We have less than 100 yards in total offense. We haven't turned the ball over. We've gone for it on fourth down twice and haven't gotten it not one time. So defense, we have put you in a tough spot, but we need y'all to get the ball back for the offense ASAP. Green going to fire it, caught by Kennison, and that is going to be a gain of nine. Third down and inches, our formation. They come out with the run play, and they pick it up just barely. Gibson with another tackle. They run the ball into the teeth of the defense, and they pick up two. They give it to Holmes again. It's just been a heavy dose of running the ball. And you got to respect the ground game, obviously. But you can't, you, like, you can't defend both. 
And then when it's time for them to pass it, they pass it so well. First down there to Parker. And then Gibson brings down Holmes yet again. No gain on that play. Green going to go to the air. Going to find Morton. He makes the catch. And that's going to be a first down. So just when you think you have a team backed up, you don't have them backed up. They're inside Regis territory. Up the gut goes Priest Holmes. That's on me. I got to seal that gap. Me and the outside linebacker. Both on the outside. I left the lane right up the middle. Just fill your gaps. Do your job. Bill Belichick. Second down and two. Our formation. We're going to blitz. We're not going to get it. At least Tony Richardson wide open. Brought down by Philip Buchanan. I love it. He is tackling today. His coverage has not been that great, but the tackling has been superb. They're going to run the ball here with Larry Johnson, LJ. Going to get brought down by Warren Sapp. Third down and five. They fake it to Holmes. They throw it in Hall. Has touchdown reception. <laughs> not one, not two, but three. I'm not going to say that I don't want Philip Buchanan to tackle but I'll take the good job that he's doing in tackling and replace that with, you know, the bad job that he is covering. Just switch the two. I'd rather have him be a great cover guy that can't tackle than what he's giving me today. Anyways, that pass caught by Jay Rice. Like, Dante Hall, phenomenal return man. And an okay receiver. Three touchdowns? Like, get out of here. I got to put Seawood on him. First down and 10 after that pass. Results in the first down. I'm going to take a shot deep. That pass off for the hands of Tim Brown. This drive has to end with a touchdown, or you could kiss this game goodbye, if you ask me. That pass caught by Jay Rice. Jay Rice still working his way up here. The 41-year-old has us inside the 20. Going to throw it to Porter, and Porter has us inside the 5. 5 catches, 51 yards for him. Going to run the ball with Fargus. He has his eyes on 6. So 28 to 10 is now the score. They're going to run the ball. Gibson is there for the stop. We got Gibson and Smith that combine on that tackle. They're going to take a shot deep in Charles Woodson there to bat that thing away at the last second. Green fakes the run, throws it. That pass caught by Kennison, and that's going to result in the Raiders' first down. Again, you think you got this team figured out. You have them backed up. You have them on the ropes, and then they slip away, and they hit you twice in the face. That pass caught by Dunn. Dunn. Dunn at the, what, 46-yard line. Now they throw the ball up top, and it's going to be dropped by Tony G. We sent that blitz. Gibson got a good hit on the quarterback. And that probably led to a bad pass and incompletion. And then they pin us at the two-yard line. So obviously the ball did get touched at the six. So that's where we, we will take over. So we're looking now. Phil going to drop it off to Fargus. Run after the catch, young man. Runs the man over. That's the first down for the Raiders. 13 to 25 so far today. We're probably going to throw the ball all day from here on out. So we might get up close to 50 attempts and hopefully around, you know, 35 completions. That pass will be incomplete. We're 0 for 5 on third down. Third down and 10. Gannon, looking for Porter, makes the catch, drag down from behind. We're 0 for what? 3 on fourth down, 0 for 2. Can we connect the dots here? Gannon, looking. We got Fargus leaking out late. He makes the catch, and that will be a Raiders first down. So now we're going to drop back the pass, looking for Rice, and Rice can't hang on to it. So now it's second down and 10. Again, we're trying to be as effective and efficient as we can on this drive. This is one of the biggest drives of the game as we find Jolly, a perfect pass to him. Gannon has it. Gannon throws it. Caught by Tim Brown. Move those chains to end the third quarter of play. So we find ourselves still down by 18. Start the fourth. We're going to throw it to Jolly who makes the catch. And that's going to result in a, in a gain of nine. Not quite a first down. Gannon drops back, steps up in the pocket, weaves through traffic just to throw the ball straight to the grass. 0 for 6 on third down. We're going to try to attack him with the ground game, and we pick it up with a gain of around 4. So nice run right there. Gannon looking, throws it. Jerry Rice in the end zone. Touchdown, Jerry, his third of the season. We're going to go for 2 to make it a 10-point ball game as we find Jerry Porter. So both Jerry's are coming through when we need him too. Hall going to work his way upfield. Brought down by Gibson, who's been tackling everybody. Might as well make a special teams tackle on Dante Hall. They're going to fire that thing. Caught by Dante Hall. Brought down by Philip Buchanan. Second down and inches. Green has it. Green throws it to Hall. Brought down by Philip Buchanan. The best tackling cornerback in the game today, but his coverage skills not so great. Holmes. He's going to run upfield for a game of two. Green. Throwing it to Do Bro, you're making me feel like I need a brand new secondary, too. Holmes looking, looking to make something happen. Pirelli is there to stop him. Second down and 10. We got Gibson in the box. Going to send that blitz. Forces a quick pass. That will be dropped. Huge hit on Parker. Knocks that ball loose. They get the ball to Holmes. Brought down 
and the teeth of that Raiders defense. That front seven comes through with help from Gibson. They got to kick a field goal. Kick us up. Kick us good. So you find ourselves down by 13. We are still very much alive in this game, but we got to score touchdowns, and we got to do it quickly. You see the rushing numbers, 27 yards today. Ugly, to say the least. That pass off of the hands of Jolly as he gets rocked. Second down and 10. Gannon looking for Porter. Porter, he makes the catch, and Porter, he's going to have a first down, seven catches, 73 yards for him. Now Gannon looking for Tim Brown. Tim Brown makes the catch, shy of the first down. Gain a six in that last pass play. Four-man rush by the Chiefs. We throw it quickly. Caught and then dropped by Jolly as he gets rocked. One for seven. Two for eight, anybody. Yes, we find Fargus. He makes the catch. Going tiptoe that sideline. And we stay in bounds for a first down. Four catches, 51 yards, plus a touchdown on the ground for him. And all 27 yards today has been on his back in the rushing attack. Looking downfield is Gannon. Gannon throws it to Porter. Makes the catch, but not in bounds. What is happening? Another third down. We're looking downfield. That pass is broken up. So another fourth down. We gots to have it here. Fourth and ten. Gannon throws it and it's caught by Porter. We have both Jays in the area not trust the young gun to make the play and he does so. We drop it off to Tim Brown. That's going to be a play that nets us five. Three ten on the clock. Gotta hurry up here. Gonna throw this one deep. That pass broken up yet again. So third down with two for nine on third down. Three for ten, anybody. Zach Crockett comes through with the catch and with three for ten. Let's do it again. Gannon has time. Rolling left, going to set his feet. Throws it to Porter who can't make the catch. Second down and ten. Our formation looking for Jay Rice who makes the catch. Brought down at the goal line. First and goal, Jerry Rice, 7 for 75, plus a touch. We're going to go up the gut, and Fargus has two touchdown runs today. So if you are trying to develop him, hopefully those two touchdowns to his stat column will help to develop him into a superstar running back. They're going to run the ball here with Holmes. Holmes is going to get brought down fairly quickly. Second down and eight. Now they're going to get the ball to Holmes one more time. Falls forward, and that's going to result in a gain of around six in the first down. First down and ten. They get the ball to Holmes one more time. Brought down by Ted Washington. We burn our first time out. They're going to get the ball to Richardson. I'll take that. You got LJ. You got Priest to get the ball to Richardson. I'll take it. They're going to run the ball with Holmes and Gibson with another tackle. That he's over 10 easily. Now we're going to take over with no timeouts. So we throw a dot. An absolute dot for a first down at Porter. Now we're going to find Jay Rice. He makes another catch for a first down. Again, we have no timeouts, but we have plenty of times so we can use the middle of the field. Want to get upfield with a gain of around nine right there. Minute 13 on the clock. And Gannon's going to find Porter. And Porter makes the catch in Chiefs territory. So minute on the clock now. Gannon looking for Brown who makes the catch. Brought down just shy of the first down. So they got everybody in the box. Man coverage across the board. We'll take a shot deep. And Tim Brown hauls it in. The Raider. I think it's safe to say that Tim Brown is like he's the Raider. At least from like my generation. And all I know is that we have had we we, are, we have had a horrible game, but we have taken the lead with 35 seconds on the clock. 32-31 is the score. They still have all their timeouts. They got to get in field goal range, but defense, I'm begging for a stop. That pass dropped by Priest Holmes. Philip Buchanan, he's an intimidator out there, and he stops him from making the catch. Looking downfield is Green, and this pass is off for the hands of Hall in between Buchanan and Woodson. Third down and 10. Three-man rush, not going to get any pressure, but the coverage should be good, but it's not. Bo Richter going to beat Namdi for a first down. They throw the ball to the right side. Kennison beats Charles Woodson for a first down. 15 seconds on the clock. Green throws it. That pass caught by... Yo, they're inside the 40 up to the 35-yard line. They're going to run the ball here with Holmes, and that might put Anderson in field goal range. He knocked home a 44-yarder. We know his kick accuracy is top-notch. Is that kick power still there? It looks to be long enough, and it's good. Martin Anderson gives the Chiefs a two-point lead. So now the ensuing kickoff, it's a squib kick. I'm trying to get it with Crockett. He's not going to get it. Chris Cole's like, I'm not going to get the ball. I ain't trying to get hit. So I'm like, what is going on? Crockett is going to get it. We got to take a knee. He gets hit, and there's two seconds on the clock. And again, Gannon does not have great arm, great arm strength, excuse me. And we don't have great speed. We get brought down at, at around the 50. And that is going to do it. 
It was a phenomenal game nonetheless. We struggled and we fought back and we fought back. And man, oh man, 56 attempts, 33 completions, Fargus, 9 carries, averaging 3 yards per carry. Not great, obviously. Tyron Wheatley gave us absolutely nothing. Uh, so yeah, so I think teams that have a great rushing attack with a great quarterback gives us fits. And I wonder if at some point a football team in real life is going to try that combination of having a great rushing attack with a great quarterback and okay receivers and see if that does something for you. Because, I mean, you're not going to find a Patrick Mahomes every single day. So having a good quarterback play instead of a great quarterback play with a good rushing attack. I mean, who knows? But all I know is that we lost yet again, but we're still in first place. The Broncos, they won today too. So everything stays the same in the West. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.